In the last video, we saw how easy it was to trigger all kinds of actions with interactable objects. But one thing I haven't showed you yet was how to make one of them persistent. Here, let's say we interact with this bucket of water and get its contents. As you can see here, we got some water. The water is gone. But if I exit the game and go back in it, you can see that the um, bucket is going to be reset. Here, the water is back and we are ready to interact and take the items. This is really not ideal because in a lot of cases you might want those resources to either be rare or under a very strict cooldown or even some things that you can only take once or you know a few times for example in the game. So let's set this up. We're going to do this on this bucket. So the first step is to add the saver, um, interactable object saver component here. And here we are showed with uh, this new component that we added. It also added a saver identifier. We go ahead and create a, or rather generate a unique identifier. Done. We can now not really worry about this component anymore. And here we have the interactable field. Here we simply drag and drop the interactable object. Now we have two options. Do we want to save the use count? Do we want to save the cooldown? Both of them or only one? I can save both anyway, but in this case, only the use count is uh, going to be used. So. Here, we're going to now go under the interactable object and we can now enable ease persistence. Here, we can drag and drop this component here, but to make it easier, we can just drag and drop this and it is going to link the interactable object saver to it. Now you see that we, when we enable this, we have an extra option here. You can see the limit use amount. And here we have an amount of time that we want these buckets to be possible to use. It could be five, 10, whatever. We're going to leave it to one. And that's it. We can now go in game. And when we use this bucket, just like before, no, I don't want to go on it. <laughs> we can now use it, no problem. But we also um, will never be able to use it again now. So as you can see, the water is gone. It is not going to come back after the cooldown. And if I leave the game and come back in game, the bucket is exactly as we left it. And I can't click on it. I can't interact with it. And it is not coming back. If the amount was two or four or whatever, we could interact this amount of time with it and then it will be uh, disabled just like it is now. So that's all you had to do to have a persistent interactable object in your game world. This could be for all kinds of things, but I think this kind of chest container thing is a very good example for things that you really want to be um, interacted with or obtained a very limited amount of time. Later, I'm going to make another video showing how we can save the states of animators so that when we open a chest or a door, for example, uh, it is going to stay um, that way. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.